sorry. I, it's okay. I have nice an oxygen tent over there. I think I screwed up the rhyming joke, did I? No, it's okay. We know you're under the weather. I have a little oxygen tent over All there. All right. Uh, my next guest plays Parker Lewis. He's got a following. He's got a following. Uh, on the hit TV series, Parker Lewis. Can't, is it called Parker Lewis Can't Lose? Parker Lewis Can't Lose? No, just Parker Lewis. Say, they're retooling. As of today? So we're here for we're a propitious this. moment in the world history. Please welcome Corky Nemec, folks. Corky. <laughs> She said hi to me earlier. I thought I had a special fan, and now she's all over you. What the hell? Uh, Clark, now, um, you know, um, is your show called Cork Parker Lewis Can't Lose or just uh, Parker it's, Lewis? It's, it's just Parker Lewis this season. Yeah? Yeah. We've, we've uh, dropped the can't lose, and um, uh, the, the show itself isn't really going to change. The only thing that's really going to change this season, the, the, uh, the clothing, not going to be wearing the real wild outfits anymore. The hair's going to be, but the but the show's going to look exactly the same. But they're just maturing the characters a little bit, so uh, people can relate to them. I think a little bit better, so people don't keep asking why am I wearing that crazy shirt. Yeah. And concentrate on. So up to this point, show. Parker Lewis <laughs> has been a little wacky, and he's going to. Oh get no, he's going to be. He's still going to be wacky. Uh, first episode, he um, blows up a coach's lunchbox and uh, gets punched out by the uh, park bully and. And um, tries to uh, score with his girlfriend. He's still gonna be uh, crazy and wacky. That's incredibly <laughs> wacky trying to score with your girlfriend. What well, the... got... yeah, well, he hasn't yet. You know, he's, 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 he's the only uh, star on television right now that hasn't done it. Even Doogie Howser has, you know. So, uh, bottom of the food chain, you know. Did Doogie Howser get laid last season? Yes, he did. Really? I did not know. Yeah. Wow. Who was the girl? A little I don't know. Duguette or what was her? I didn't Seems see. a lot happier. Rhonda. Wanda. Wanda. Oh, Wanda. I am so out of the loop on young people's television. I, I didn't know Doogie <laughs> did it. Um, now, Parker Lewis is kind of like a, isn't it sort of a, it's akin to uh, Ferris Bueller, right? Is it something like that? No, 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 not at all. Uh, what, it's just, it was just coincidence, actually, because when they came up with the concept of this show, it wasn't... I don't think that it has, you know, any relevance to uh, Ferris Bueller. I mean, it's just about another cool kid. Uh, but the difference is, when they tried to make Ferris Bueller the series, it just... the character wasn't as likable. You know, like, the movie, it was a great movie, but I think, like, as far as the character went, people just didn't, you know, want to see him every week. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, so, I mean, I'm happy about that. I'm glad it didn't make it, because then that's, you know, less competition for us. Yeah. Do you, you uh, look into the camera and talk like that? Occasionally, though? yes. Yeah. Occasionally, break the fourth wall. Not, not a lot though. Just like maybe a little glance here and there, like I just did. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so we were privy to so just a little piece of the magic. Yes. There. Uh, <laughs> now, you, well, as I'm looking through your notes, I see that you uh, counterbalance this show, which seems to be a lighter, more amiable for young people show yes. with these heavy TV movies. Which one? You, now you're up for an Emmy for one of um, these. I, right? Well, I did. I, I did. Uh, a show called I Know My First Name is Steven, a miniseries. And, uh, thank you. And um, it got, I, I got nominated for an Emmy for that, and that was, that blew me away. I mean, that was really the first major project I had been involved with, outside of, like, Tucker, which I didn't really get any recognition from anyway. It was, you know, The Coppola film. Very small part. Uh -huh. And, uh, which is okay with me. I had an incredible time working on that, one of the best experiences of my, you know, career. But, uh... Uh, that was that you know that was just a surprise. Seventeen years old and I got that, so I was I was really excited. Um, now what do you what do you plan to do? What what are you looking forward to? You're gonna keep doing Parker Lewis? What are you gonna do after yeah. that? Yeah, oh yeah, we got a full season ahead. We got six summer episodes uh, that that are gonna be airing first that's after The Simpsons. Um, well, that's a great spot. Enough. You can't lose yeah. there. You yeah. saving your pennies? Can't lose. Yeah, so yeah, I'm putting up uh, investments, stuff like that. Got a little piece of property in Arkansas, you know. So when I get old, I can go just live there for the rest of my life. Become governor and run for presidency. No, uh, what, not me. <laughs> what, uh, if you weren't acting, what would you do? Um, actually, I, I think that I'd be, you know, going to college, of course, maybe taking some psychology courses and uh, stuff like that, art courses. Psychology? Yeah, you know, just figure out what makes people tick. Yeah. 
Um, well, we, we have to take a break. We're going to come Ooh. back to figure out what makes Corky tick more. Right after this, folks, we'll take a break. Thank you. We're back with Mr. Nemec. Now, uh, you were just telling me that you're actually your season premieres tonight. Fox is yes. pretty smart about that yes. stuff, isn't it? Uh, what, what, what they're doing is, which, which they do with 90210, which turned out real good, is they showed what the characters do during the summer and, and where they hang out, where they go. And so um, uh, we did the same thing with Parker Lewis, but uh, comedically and not dramatically, of yeah. course. And uh, it's going to be some funny stuff. We all hang out at a park. Uh, that's like the main hangout and everything. And uh, it's just, it, just all the hysteria that goes on at this park is yeah. very, very funny. Now we have a and clip. Uh, is it of this show? Is it of uh, the premiere? Or is it's, it just it's a... not. No, it's not of the premiere. It's actually of a show coming up. It's called Cape Flamingo. Is the name of the episode. And this new character that they have on the show is is haunting me. Uh, you know, because because I he got blamed for me blowing up a lunchbox, which is going to be on the show tonight. And so he punches me out in the end. So like for the first three episodes, at the, in the end, I always try and confront him, and I always get knocked out. So. Like, the end of every episode is me laying there passed out or something. Is Cape Flamingo a play on and Cape, Cape Flamingo, Fear? Cape Flamingo, exactly. It's a play on Cape Fear. He, he gets, like, inside my whole family and makes everyone turn against me. So and, you blew up Max and... Cady's lunchbox, essentially. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, let's take a peek. A little clip here. He saved your life. So... He saved your life so he could live to beat your ass again exactly. at some point in the future. That's exactly what he does. <laughs> Who do you find as the audience for this show now? I notice uh, all the young you know, girls. We get, we get a, lot to... of, uh, a lot of college following, too. A lot of fraternities like to get together. Well, the Sunday night lineup was, was a nice lineup. We just were stuck there up against 60 Minutes and, uh, and Life Goes On, which are both very powerful shows and right. have a big following. So we were having some problems. Plus, an early time slot at 7.30. Most people didn't turn on their TVs till eight, which was uh, in living color. So, uh, but it was a nice lineup. So we, we had a real, we have a, a real big cultic following this thing called Flamingo Digest. It's a group of people that talk to each other through computers all across the United States. And, and they discuss the show and they, they write up like a sort of, you know, a summary on every episode and they send it in to uh, the guys, uh, the producers and everybody like that. And every now and then some of them come down and hang out on the set. So that's, it's pretty interesting, you know. It's weird to, uh, they talk about our show on that computer thing, too, on Prod Prodigy, is it called, or something like that. Did you ever read the things? It's so weird to yeah, read they, people I mean, they, talking about yeah, show. They, they they, what's with Dennis's the smallest, hair? Yeah, the details that you don't even notice. They get, I know. You know? They'll, they'll, like, pick out a blackhead on your, f you know, on the top of your forehead from, like, three miles away and write about it. It's amazing. Uh... <laughs> Now, what's, uh, you got another film coming up with Ricky Schroeder, too. What's well, that no, about? Actually, it was already done. We, it was uh, My Son Johnny. It was another uh, true story. It was about, uh, thank you, for the two people in the audience who saw it. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the smallest smattering I've ever heard. Jeez. Uh, it, was, it was another true story. Just like I know my first name is Stephen was a story about a kid who got kidnapped and everything. This is about um, a kid that was was abused by his older brother who was Rick Schroeder and I ended up killing him in the movie and goes into the trial and and he got acquitted from the uh, you know he didn't get found guilty for it which was nice I always wonder when people are acting in these things does it grim you out I mean I know it's real life and you have to play these things do you get like we're so wrapped up in it it starts to make you feel grim you gotta kill your brother in a TV movie Is no it... when you see the paycheck <laughs> So you don't mind killing a brother if, no. <laughs> if as long as the bread's good. All right. Good hey, to meet you. Hey, Corky Nemec. We'll be right back with King Sunny Day in the African Beach. Right after this. This portion of the Dennis Miller Show is brought to you by Miller Brewing Company. Everyone knows when it's Miller time. <laughs> 